Okay, so we said ball position was the main thing in terms of your driver setup there, being yeah. a little bit too far back in your stance, just deal off the club. Yeah. So you're not going to create much sort of loft. The ball's going to come out very, very low unless yeah. you've got a load of club head speed. So obviously you can see now on the right, we're going to move it further towards that left hill. Yeah. Don't go too much too soon. Where you are there today is absolutely fine. Okay, yeah. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, just sort of gradually sort of move it forward half a ball at a time just to get it gradually okay, further yeah. forward. But you'll find sort of a, a happy medium of where you need to be and the resulting shots are... Yeah. That, that's your best ball position when the ball's going like that, you see. So just move it gradually as you need to yep. to get the right spot, okay? Because of that ball position being back, we said we need a lot of club head speed. Unfortunately, when your club was going back, you weren't really creating much backswing. No. So the goalpost club wasn't creating any power at all. Having a sort of basically a half swing there, there's not enough power stored to return back to the goalpost. Then you're forced to try and swing your arms as fast as you can. So your yeah. arms pulling away from the body to try and get up in the air. And it's just you're just fighting your technique there because there's not enough power created. Sure. Whereas this one here, now as you said, turning more and hinging those wrists up, we're creating power. Yeah. Going a lot further. Totally different. One thing I would say, just as a checkpoint to be aware, we're rotating. We don't want to be swaying too right, far. Okay. Yeah. Now the circle goes down because the camera is over. You can see yourself moving more yeah. laterally off the golf ball. Okay. Yeah. If we move laterally, you've got to move back to the golf ball. Now most of the times you are doing that. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes you might get a little bit too far. And that's when the club hits the ground a bit behind the ball. Okay, so but at least we're turning better now. Now we've got some power created. We can then unwind to the golf ball. Body can turn through now. Arms and body swinging through up onto that left side with a full range of motion. Yeah. Back foot now up on its toe and all your weight now down and pretty much down to your left side there. Good finished position. Okay, so yeah, yeah just ball different. further forward, hinge and turn, make a bigger move. Just create the power. Yeah, the power's got to be created. And then we release it. Okay, it's yeah. not just stick the club somewhere in the back and try and whack it hard. Yeah, if you try yeah. and do that, you just got no control. That's right. It's like elastic band. So you pull the elastic band back and release. You okay. can't pull it back short and then try and throw it forward, can you? No. Once you do that, you lose all control and the ball's going all over the place. So yeah. make sense? Yeah, that's great. Let's right, have a couple more, mate, and then we'll Thank see how they go.